hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Tunde Victor and um, in today's video we are going to be touching this beautiful image right here so our um, music capture one to possess this uh, image right here and um, if you want to capture one software send me an email I'm going to be leaving my email in the description below so let's get started so the first thing I'll do for this image looking at the image I feel the image is too warm so I'm just going to bring down my um white balance the kelvin of my white my white balance down i'm just going to reduce the kelvin a little bit to make it a little bit cool so it's okay like this and um the next thing i'll do i'll come down to my highlight i'll reduce my highlight a bit and um i'll open up my shadows a bit like this i'll open up my shadows a bit and um i'll take down my white so after taking down my white, I'll also bring down my black a bit, like this. And the next thing I'll do for my curves, I'll just move my blacks inside the bit, let's say by three. And um, I'll move my highlights inside to the beginning of the wave right here, like this. And um, I'll come to my curves. My curves, I'm using my um, Luma curves. This only affects the... Um, um, exposure of the image so I'm just going to bring down my shadows a bit for the Lumina so I'll just go break the bits you can see the background is um, getting dark so that's what I want then I'll bring down I'll bring up I'll take the highlight up a little bit like this okay now let's see our, our before and after so this is where we started from you can see the image is looking so dull and um, this is after our, our capture one processing and um, you can see the difference our uh, before and um, and uh, after the image is shining already so the next thing I'll do for this image uh, let me see okay not uh, I won't do anything again the next thing I'll do I just open this image in Photoshop so I'm going to do that right now I'm just gonna um, click here and um, edit with Photoshop Adobe Photoshop so I'm just gonna click it and I'll change it to 8 bits and um, edit variant. So right now I'll just wait for the image to load in Photoshop. I'm not going to be copying this image in Capture One. I'm going to be copying it in Photoshop. Now that we have our image in Photoshop, the next thing I'm going to do is to crop this image. So I'm going to click on my crop tool right here. This is my crop tool, and I'm going to go to ratio and I'm going to click 5, 4 by 5 or 8 by 10 don't click on this this front image below just click on um, anyone here the reason is that if you click on anyone here it's going to delete some pixels so just click on 4 by 5 or any kind of or any any ratio you want to use to um, crop your image so I'm going to click on 4 by 5 right now because I'm using it for Instagram if you want to use an image for Instagram make sure you are using 4 by 5 to crop your images those image fits perfectly on Instagram so Check the delete cropped pixel and make sure your content array is checked so Photoshop will automatically fill the background for you. So I'm just going to click on OK right now and um, allow Photoshop do its job. Oh, it's loading. Let's just give it a few seconds and it's gonna be done. Okay, this this is um this is after we copy our image. You can see Photoshop automatically fill the background layer for us. Let's see our uh, before and after. These are before and these are after so you can see Photoshop autom automatically fill that for us so the next thing I'll do I'm um, this image is sharp and um, it's looking so so good this image was taken by my friend uh, the good guy photography I believe in his Instagram in the description below go check him out and follow him so the next the next thing I'll do is to dupli duplicate my layer by pressing ctrl J or command J if you are using a Windows so I'm just going to run my focus separation for this uh, particular image right here so i'm going to click on my beauty retouch and uh, also if you want this beauty retouch send me an email and i'm going to send this uh, photoshop plugin to you also so i'm just going to click on the uh, focus separation via gaussian blur i'm using 5.5 for this particular image and um, if you want to know how to get the right radius your right focus separation radius I have a video for that and I'll be leaving it in the description below also. 
or you can just click on this notification up here so you can go watch that video after of course you finish watching this video so i'm going to click 5.5 .5 and i'm going to click ok so once i click ok the next thing i'll do i want to remove the um, blemishes on her face those uh, little pimples on her face so i want to remove that so how to do that i'm going to come to my close thumb tool right here or you can press s so this is my close thumb tool and i'm going to come to this high texture copy for my focus separation i'm going to click on this high texture copy right here make sure it's checked and um just start removing your blemishes and make sure your brush size is um equivalent to the kind of blemishes you want to remove don't use a big brush size for small blemishes you are just going to distort that particular place you want to remove so like that so i'm just going to do this for the whole image and um when i'm done uh i'll come back okay we are almost there i'm just going to remove this um black spot right here on her eyes okay let's see our before and after these are before and these are after i don't know if you can see them these are before and these are after so that, that's the little changes we've made for this image so far so the next now i'm going to be brushing over the skin using my mixer brush i'm technically going to be missing the colors of this of this image right now so i'm going to click on my creative tone right here is um, if you're using this recurring separation sorry if you're using this retouching academy you're going to click on this creative tool right here there are other focus separation actions out there but if you're using this particular one just click on your creative tool right here and um go to your mixer brush turn turn off this high frequency texture just click on this eye right here and turn it off and once you turn it off your image will be kind of blurry as you can see once you turn it off your image will be kind of blurry so these are my mixer brush settings i'm using a soft hand brush i'm using a clean brush um it's a custom my weight is on 30 my load is on 30 my mix is on 20 my flow is on 30 and um, this place here right here is on 10 and uh, my sample earlier is checked so i'm just going to brush um the highlight separately and the shadow separately so you want to be careful with this place so you can brush the highlights to the shadows and the shadows to the highlights and just brush according to the shape of the model's face so what I, what i'm doing right now i'm just mixing the colors i'm not this what i'm doing right now is not really affecting the textures of this image it's only affecting just the colors so i'm mixing just the colors of this image to make it um uniform so i'm just going to do this around the whole image not just a face even a skin like that but i'm just going to work on the face and um i'm going to forward on the part where i'm doing the skin because the face is the most important thing as you can see i'm brushing the highlights on the nose on the nose line separately and the shadows separately you really have to be careful when doing this and um i've not retouched this image before so once i'm done retouching this image i'm going to post it on my instagram before i upload the video right here so you guys can see the final results so i'm just going to do this for the skin of the image okay we are almost done and um remember to always check your before and after in case you made any mistakes so you can quickly correct it okay now let's see our before and after so these are before and these are after these are before and these are after you can see like the image is looking even better now these are before and these are after it's just um a subtle difference like it's still looking natural but you know it's retouched and that's the main point you don't have to overdo it so i'm still seeing a little bit of blemishes so i'm just going to come back to my high texture and click on my close time tool and um i'll take this thing out it's not looking good here so i'll just take it out like that okay it's looking better now and i'll um, just remove some blemishes i'm still seeing right here so 
so I'm just going to remove a bit of blemishes again I'm still seeing them right here okay I think you are good so this is our before forget separation and um, these are after forget separation so the, so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to merge my corrective tone and uh, my low frequency layers together by holding shift and clicking on my low frequency and clicking ctrl e to merge so once i merge them i'm going to run my portraiture you can decide to continue like this the image is looking good if you don't have the uh, portraiture plugin but i do have the portraiture plugin so i'm just going to continue with um portraiture so i'm going to come to my filter and i'm going to click on imagenic and i'm going to click on portraiture but if you don't have this portraiture there is no problem you can continue like that you can just skip to the next step but i'm just going to run the portraiture i'll do that again come to my portraiture and i'll click to click ok and just allow it to load You see, portraiture makes the image look smoother. That's just the um, function of the portraiture to make the, the to make the skin look smoother, just like skin finer. If you have skin finer portraiture, it's almost the same thing. So these are before portraiture, and then these are after portraiture. And I feel it's okay like this. Then if you feel it's too much, you just have to reduce the opacity. So, but I feel it's okay. So I'm just gonna leave mine like this. So the next thing I'll the next thing I'll do for this image, I don't know if you can notice, but you can see this um the skin colors are really different. Like the hand is different from this part, from this part. Let me just switch to my brush so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So as you can see, this part of her hand, this part of her hand is looking darker than this other part of the hand of the skin i don't know you can see it's looking um darker and here although there's shadow here that's why here is dark and uh, here is dark too but this place there's highlights and here there's highlights but the two colors are not matching so what i'm going to do next i'm going to match the colors you can if you can if you look at her neck too you can see it's also different from her face so i'm just going to match the color i'm going to show you how to do that now so how to do that let me just delete this layer and um, if you want to do that all you have to do is click on uh, a new layer right here open a new layer change the blend mode to color click on enter then pick your brush and sample from any area you want so I'm going to sample from uh, not sample from highlight or shadow sample from the mid to area so I'm just going to sample from here and um once I sample, I uh, have a sample, I hold my alternate to sample. So once you hold the alternate, click on an area you want to sample and sample from there. So after sampling, I'm just going to come to my brush and brush over those places I want to adjust the colors. I know it's looking somehow right now, but we are going to fix it. So just brush over where you want to adjust the colors. So I'm just going to brush over my hand here too because I want the skin like the body to match with her face so I'm just going to do that still going to brush over here because I want everything to be uniform So I'm just gonna push over here a little bit. You can see the um, effect is not really much here because here is like the face. That's why I'm not seeing the effect that much. So if you made a mistake like this, all you have to do is click on your eraser tool and erase it like that. So I'm gonna continue. Like that. Okay. Remember, always remember to um, increase or decrease your brush size depending on the area you're brushing over. 
okay so after that next you're going to do is come to your filter and uh, click on your Gaussian blur we're going to blow it so click on Gaussian blur and you can use radius 5 5.5 is okay or let's use radius 5 5 is okay yes so after um blowing it i'm seeing some error here so i'm just going to erase this part of it I'm just going to erase this part and let me see if i see any errors i'm just going to erase any parts that there's an error okay so after that i'm just going to reduce the opacity so just reduce the opacity to about let's say 20 20 is okay uh, let's see our uh, before these are before these are before and these are after as you can see the skin are looking more like the face right now these are before these are after just a small difference if you want you can also reduce your opacity let me just reduce my opacity to about 16 16 is okay and um it's looking uniform right now but we can also uh, make it more uniform in capture one after we finish editing the whole picture so let's see how it goes but this is technically how you can um, um make your skin to look more like your face like you can see the neck and the face now are close to each other this is how it was before the neck was looking red and uh, this is how it is right now it's looking very close to the face so the next thing i'll do i'm gonna do a little bit of um contour dodge and burn so what that means i'm just going to dodge the highlights and uh, burn the shadows so i'm going to click on my dodge and burn curves And I'm going to delete this visual aid. I don't really need it, so I'm just going to delete that. And I'll come to my dodge and I'll click on my brush to move my flow to about four. Click enter. So I'm just going to basically dodge the highlights and burn the shadows. And to see this better, you can turn off your focus separation layer so you can see how the image originally was, so you can know where the highlight was and where the shadows. So I'm just going to burn on the highlights. I'm basically con con doing uh, contouring for this image right now. So I'm just going to touch the highlights like this. Let me see if I can touch a little bit of our uh, lips. Okay. And I'm just going to bound the shadows like this. So I'm just going to bound the shadows like that. Let me dodge here a little bit. Dodge here too. I dodge here too. And I'll uh, go around it. Okay. Now I'll turn back my focus separation layer on. And then uh, let's see our uh, before and after. So these are before and these are after. These are before and these are after. Just a tiny, tiny difference. And you can see this image is looking good already. But if you feel it's too much you can reduce the opacity a bit but i feel it's okay so i'm just going to leave it like that so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to run my eyes and teeth whitening action i also have a video for this eyes and teeth whitening action if you don't know if you have not watched the video go watch it so you can create your own eyes and teeth whitening action so i'm just going to click on eyes and teeth whitening action and um i'll use my white brush to paint over our eyes so i'll just put my flow up to 100 again and um use my white brush to paint over our eyes like this so i'll do the same thing for this eye right here just paint over the whites on her eyes so after doing that i'm going to click on my filter and i'm going to click on blur Gaussian blur. I'm going to blow this by let's say two. So I'm going to blow this with two, and I'm just going to reduce the opacity a bit. Okay, like this is okay. This is our uh, this is our uh, before and this is after. You can see this image is looking good already. So another thing I'll do, I want to make the image um shine shine even more. So I'm going to I want to add shine to the image. So what I'm going to do, I'll come to my channel layer right here and I'm going to click on my blue. I'm going to hold my control and click on my blue 
so once i click on my apple it's going to it's going to highlight all the it's going to highlight all the highlights in the image so once the highlights is highlighted you come to your layers again then click on your adjustment layer click on your um levels once you click on your levels just drag the highlights inside just drag the highlights inside if you drag it like this you can see the image is shiny so just drag it inside a bit to add a little glow to your image okay so let's see our before and after these are before and these are after just a little difference so the next thing i'm going to do for this image i'm going to add contrast to this image so i'm going to click on my levels again and i hold alternate and drag this in if you drag it all the way like this the image will be blown out as you can see so just drag it a little just a little like this is fine then i'll do the same for my shadows i'll hold alternate and drag this in a little like this okay it's too much i feel it's too much so i'm just going to take this one back like this this is our before and these are after i just add a little bit of contrast to the image this is our before and these are after so guys i think we have a part two for this particular image this will we'll stop right here for this part for this um part of the editing of this particular image so in the part two i'm going to be doing the color grading for this particular image i don't want this particular uh, video to be too long so i'm going to break it into two steps so let's see where we start from and uh, where we are right now let me just group everything ctrl g to group and um this is where we started from and this is where we are right now this is where we started from and this is where we are right now so guys if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you guys in my next video